M0FXP, welcome back to my videos on the ATS20 with the new Joshante firmware, which is bespoke firmware. And today we're actually looking at the settings menus. Now on the left, you can see just a screenshot. Now it's a bit, you know, glary on the video. I apologize for that. But anyway, let's just dive in. The screen when you're here just looks amazing. So this is the settings menu here. So what you do, you press the band and you've got three menus. If you press the band up, once you've pressed the, the, the band minus, there's menu number two and menu number three, okay? And to come out, just press band again. So you have settings within settings. So what we'll do, we'll press one and then we'll go to the instructions that Joshante has given us to follow. So we're presented with the ATT one, the SM, soft mu att is attenuation value turn again and then we've got svc enable or disable avc for ssb so i need to learn what that is oh here it is automatic volume control this is number from 12 to 90 soft mu and as we go up we go to the de menu so let's just go press the top one now it takes us to menu two so I'll read the ones that I see here. DE only for FM mode. De-emphasis value is microseconds. SYN enable or disable sync mode for SSB. SCR screen brightness. Now I think we do need to change our screen brightness. It's a bit too, you know, bright. So we'll just go, we're going to press it and then we can lower the, the value. Hopefully that will make the brightness, because it is a bit glary. I know you're not really seeing it, because these Android phones, they're very, they're very sensitive, aren't they? So I'm going to go quite low, low, because I don't really like it bright myself. So I'll go right, as, there you are, that's really starting to dim now. Hopefully that's a bit nicer on the eyes as well. Okay, so we know what that one is, screen brightness. And then you just, to select it, you just press the VFO button again. SW frequency units for AM mode in SW or shortwave, it can quickly be only kilohertz or megahertz. SSM, we've got, remember to change selection, you just do that, just turn in the VFO. SSM, soft mute, COF, so let's go to the next menu. I'm seeing BFO here. The so COF is cut off filter. CPU, this is useful for battery saving. That's interesting. RDS, decoding error threshold level. The lower this number, the better the RDS text appears, but the lower the chance of successful sync. Hmm. So I've not even used RDS yet. So that's something I definitely need to do. BFO, which is offset calibration. And then uni is show high frequency units. What have we got ours on, which is on. And then SCA, stations can feature in AM or FM modes on encoder button in disabled state. Encoder button would always act as a step button. CW side mode based on LSB or USB modulation. Okay. And then more info. So, you know, the. I'm not, I can't do everything in one video. It's, there's so much to do here, but it has completely transformed this unit. It was a good, it was fun anyway, but the audio that I'm listening to is smoother. The, once you get used to the fact that you press the button on the device, we go back to the button, if we back out, that you press the but the band, turn the VFO, and then we can go up and down with the bands. So we have to, let's put 40 meters on, turn up the volume. So you're selecting items with the button, buttons and then adjusting frequency like so. You're selecting the mode. So what are we on, LSB? I'm not sure if it's busy now. The bandwidth is there as well. You can hold your finger down. 
No, not a lot happening today. Maybe later. I find that in the morning it's not great, but by the afternoon it's good and then the evening is always good. So thanks for watching my learning videos and thanks to Jasante. All the links will be in the description. And to load the firmware, just in case you're thinking, well, how do I load this firmware? You literally just connect the USB cable on the back to the, the square micro USB. Download this program here called AVR Dudes. Select the settings I've set because they worked for me. 80 mega 32 here. Yeah. Connect your, select your COM port. Mine was on six yesterday. Depends which device. And then the board rate, you want 115200. And make sure that's the same on your USB by going uh, right click, device manager. And then when you've got the, it's not connected at the moment. When you've got it connected, just click the port. I'll just click one at random for now. Right click, properties. And then port setting, just make sure here it's 115200. And uh, so that's a good rate for doing firmware uploading. And then you just, once you've got it all set correctly, and I have made a video, I keep saying that, um, just click program. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now.